All right, the Satoshi VM is a very hyped up Bitcoin layer two test net that is probably gonna have an airdrop at some point in the future. People have been asking me to do a tutorial on how you can interact with this test net and potentially qualify for that airdrop. I'm gonna walk you through step by step exactly what you need to do to interact with the Satoshi VM test net and get some of these tokens when they do drop. Now on Satoshi VM's own Twitter page, they've said that there is currently no active airdrop at this moment. So this is pretty strongly hinting that there will be an airdrop at some point in the future and we need to stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, let's interact with the testnet. So for starters, what is Satoshi VM? Well, it's a layer two solution on the Bitcoin network, but it's compatible with the Ethereum virtual machine, which is pretty much a first. Now, in order to complete all of these steps, you're going to need a MetaMask wallet or another type of Ethereum wallet and you're going to need a Unisat wallet. So for starters, let's get the Unisat wallet. If you go to unisat.io, and I'll throw links to this down below, click on the wallet button up here and install the Unisat wallet for your browser. Once you do that, just pin it as a browser extension for easier access. And so this is what the Unisat browser extension wallet looks like. Just hit create new wallet, enter in a password, write down your seed phrase somewhere safe and offline, and then select the address type. You're gonna to wanna to select native SegWit, then hit continue. So once you've gotten to this point, go down to this settings button in the bottom right hand corner, click on that, and then under network, select this and change it to testnet. So now that we've got the Unisat wallet set up, the next step is to get some testnet tokens in here. So copy your wallet address, and then go over to the Bitcoin testnet faucet, paste it in, and then send some testnet tokens. Now it shows you up here the total amount that you can get from the faucet. So you can take up to that maximum amount. Now these transactions are pending. So while we're waiting for that, we're actually going to set some stuff up on the MetaMask wallet or whatever other Ethereum wallet you're using. So in order to set up the MetaMask wallet, we need to add the Satoshi VM testnet network. And here in the documents, if we hit details, this is the network. So you can actually open up your wallet and add the network manually if you want to. Or you can go to the Satoshi VM Testnet Explorer and then at the bottom, there's a simple button here that says add Satoshi VM Testnet. Click that and it will pop up in your wallet asking you to add the network. Okay, so now I have the Satoshi VM Testnet set up on MetaMask and I have my Unisat wallet on the testnet network set up as well. Just waiting to get those testnet tokens from the faucet. Now, I know this is getting pretty complicated, but you also need to have the Sepolia network enabled and to have some ETH, some Sepolia ETH on the Sepolia testnet. If you don't have any, I like this faucet. I think it's the best one. You simply copy and paste your wallet address in here and then mine some Sepolia ETH from the faucet. And once you have a little bit to pay for some gas fees, that's all you need. You don't need a huge amount. Now, once you've completed all of those steps, we need to go to the Satoshi VM bridge and we're gonna bridge some of the Bitcoin that we got. In my Unisat wallet, I have some of that testnet Bitcoin now. So we need to bridge that to the Satoshi VM testnet. And what we're doing here is helping to test out the bridge from the Bitcoin network to the Ethereum or EVM network. And when this goes live on mainnet, it's gonna be super interesting because you'll be able to actually send Bitcoin from the Bitcoin network to Ethereum and vice versa. So for starters, connect a wallet. And once you connect your EVM wallet and the Unisat wallet, we'll be actually able to bridge. So it detects the balance of Bitcoin that I have in my wallet. I don't wanna send the full amount because I need to save a little bit to pay for gas fees. So I'm going to deposit 0.00001 Bitcoin and hit on the deposit button. Now it turns out that 0.0002 is actually not enough to make this transaction. So I just requested some more from the faucet and I'll have to wait until I get a little bit more to pay for the transaction fees. But while we're waiting, you can actually also hit down here on the TSAVM faucet button and we can request some SAVM tokens and we have to pay for this with the Sepolia testnet ETH that we just previously mined. So confirm this transaction in your wallet and then click on a button here to add the TSAVM to the wallet. And while we're waiting to get those additional testnet Bitcoins, we can go to the SAVM bridge and we're gonna bridge from Ethereum Sepolia network to the Satoshi VM testnet. So I'm gonna send the full amount of those SAVM tokens that I just got from the faucet down here and click deposit 
and confirm a transaction. So this is the second transaction we need to spend that Sepolia ETH on. And once you have enough testnet Bitcoin to be able to actually send a transaction, let's go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna try to bridge 0 0.00003 Bitcoin, hit deposit, and confirm a transaction in the Unisat wallet. Now that transaction is probably gonna take about 30 to 60 minutes to actually go through, but when it does, you'll be able to see the Bitcoin in your Satoshi VM testnet wallet. Now, the only other thing that you can really do with the testnet right now is to bridge back. So you can just hit on the withdraw button and reverse the process. And the same thing for the SAVM bridge. It looks like there will be a swaps feature coming soon and probably some other DeFi applications, but for now, those are all the testnet transactions that you need to make. The one final thing that I recommend doing is actually going to this page right here, Ape Terminal, because you can basically put your wallet on a list to potentially earn up to a $1,000 allocation completely for free just by participating in this lottery here. So all you have to do is connect the wallet to the application, then sign in with Ethereum. This isn't actually a transaction. You just have to sign a message with your wallet and then go to the Satoshi VM featured launch page click participate now. And then once you hit on the button participate now, you are entered in. So you have a very, very small chance of winning, but it's a $1,000 USDC allocation. So it's pretty solid. You might as well put your name on the list. So yeah, that's it for now. And I'll bring you further updates if and when there's additional tasks that we can do to increase our chances of getting a Satoshi VM airdrop.